Hello everyone, my name is Dustin Meyer and welcome back to another episode of Impact Photo. Uh, today we're going to go over, now first of all I have to apologize, I know it's been a while since I put up another video, however uh, we've been really busy uh, putting together our new studio, so I'll be able to get out of this small little space here, yay! And uh, we're going to have a much bigger space, uh, much more retrofitted for an actual working studio, so and a whole lot more room to put all my stuff, which as you guys all probably surmised, I'm really excited about. So anyways, um, last time we left off, I did a quick uh, review about JPEG Mini and JPEG Mini Pro. And for those of you guys who don't know what it is, click back and look at my last video and you can check it out. I use it all the time uh, to shrink down the size of my JPEGs without losing uh, image quality. So that way I can store up a lot more photos on my hard drives. Also, uh, we're going to use the same photo that we used last time, and today we're going to go a little bit more over just like the physical manipulation of the shape of the face. So if you look here at the screen, our subject here uh, has professional makeup already done. So we don't need a whole lot of actual like skin retouching done, but uh, we are going to go in and kind of even out the shape of the eyes and the shape of the face. And just to kind of give you guys a little bit more kind of specific sort of tutorial on how to do that. So, without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so um, I went ahead and just opened it up in Portrait Pro here. Now, for those of you guys that don't know this little trick here, what I tend to do to help kind of make it a little bit easier is I go into uh, the preferences. Um, let's see, somewhere over here. <laughs> Anyways, in the preference module, there is a thing that says to uh, automatically detect faces. It's a checkbox, so I just uncheck that, and that way when I go in, uh, I can actually do the lines uh, myself, the outlines of the face, uh, So, and it brings you here first. Otherwise, it kind of slows down uh, the whole process while it tries to apply um, all that stuff uh, while you're adjusting the outlines, which can slow down the computer. So we're going to go right in here for the Apple users here. It's the command key. So do the outer edges of the eyes here and then the tip of the nose and then the mouth. And we're just going to adjust this right here. So I don't know if you guys can hear it in the background, but it is raining outside. It's been doing it for several days, so I apologize. Not that I could control it if there is a lot of background noise. I, of course, will do my best to try and minimize that noise. But also, how many of you guys are excited for South by Southwest? Um, us native Austinites, such as myself, even though we are a very rare breed, um, we are you know, excited to have everybody come out and uh, spend a lot of time here in Austin, check out all the cool artsy creative film festival and music type stuff. Um, it does create a lot more you know, traffic around the area, and of course with, with the weather and the rain and everything, it can make it a little bit trickier to drive. However, um, you know, it's one of those things that just, you know, just kind of deal with it as it comes, but it's a really awesome time. We get to meet a whole lot of people. Photographers get to go out and shoot all kinds of really cool events. Uh, filmmakers especially get to showcase all their new stuff. Um, just a lot of really cool stuff you know, comes out of it. It's not just about music, so um, there's also like technology showcases and all that sort of stuff. So if you've never been, you guys should come check it out. And you know, if you are in town, just give me a shout. We'll go grab a coffee or something like that. So, anyways, if you haven't learned from previous episodes, I am a bit of a coffee addict, and I will take it where I can get it. So, okay, we're just gonna do the outlines of the face now. Since we are actually gonna go over um, the changing of the shape of the face it is you know you want to pay a bit more attention to making sure the outline is nice and correct okay that looks pretty good so we're just going to click spacebar let it do its thing okay so right off the bat it pretty much just did kind of like a very standard sort of retouching overall you know just got rid of a few little imperfections and stuff but for the most part it looks fairly similar. The uh, one thing that you may notice, I'm going to zoom out, it did enhance the color and the contrast a little bit more. So, and that's under the picture controls. And I actually, you know, I like the way it looks. So we're going to leave it that way. Now we're going to go into face here and I'm going to zoom out just a little bit because if it's too close, I kind of have a hard time noticing the differences or the changes that I've made. So we're going to go mostly under face sculpt controls and especially 
Um, we're gonna look at things like the face shape and the eyes. And if you guys have never actually used these little arrows that show you like which side of the face you wanna control, this is where they're gonna be. So I'm just gonna kinda tweak the shape of the face here and see where it goes. So here it kind of shortens the distance of the face here and I'm not exactly sure what's going on over here. I don't know if you guys see that. Oh, oh that's kind of weird. Um, <laughs> so uh, we're going to bring that back in. I'm not really that worried about the shape of her face anyways. So let me just check here and see if maybe adjusting these little outlines here. Now if you notice if you're trying to adjust the outlines while uh, the um, the after effects are being applied it does tend to slow it down just a little bit so let me just make a couple of adjustments to see and we're gonna bring this guy up here and hopefully that will help it along a little bit okay so let's see if that fixes it uh, Okay, well, either way, I'm gonna stop nitpicking. Now, okay, we're gonna go into the eyes here, so we're gonna zoom in. And now, if you notice, and this is actually fairly, uh, fairly very common with everybody, uh, one eye is slightly a little bit larger than the other as far as the, the eyelids are concerned. Our faces are not perfectly symmetrical as much as we would like them to be, but for the most part, um, so once in a while, if you have somebody that, you know, wants to have you know it corrected for or if you feel like that would make for a better picture uh, this is how you would do it so now not to get it backwards but left eye is meaning that the eye on the left uh, not their left eye so um, that one took me a while so over here we're gonna use the slider for the right eye to see if that kinda changes and evens out the overall width of the eye and I think that is pretty close and then let's see here now we're gonna go over to eye widening and we're gonna see if we can try to match up the size of the eye here with this one over here so we're gonna go with right and that looks a bit more evenly matched so here's what we're gonna do we're going to um, there we go, bring them a little bit closer together. And, whoop. Okay, now we're gonna zoom out. Kind of look at the before and after. Now, of course, remember that, you know, where it looks like right now, it looks a bit more dramatic, but it compared to the, uh, the before, then it looks a lot better. Plus, the nice thing about it is, the eyes are more vivid, vivid, <laughs> and the white part around the eyes and pretty much any other changes that you make to the image are gonna be more prevalent when you actually help open the eyes a little bit more. So, uh, plus it's a little bit less of a distraction if you know the, eyes, the eye shape is a bit more evenly matched. Um, and then, let's see here, and just for a quick review, we're gonna look over at um, the mouth shape and let me zoom in just a little. We're gonna go to mouth shape, and there is a slider for pucker the lips or plump the lips, but I tend to just kind of change the mouth shape just a little bit. That way, if you ever wanna have, uh, you know, if someone's smile is a bit too wide, if it's a bit too much of a distraction, you can just move this a little bit more. Uh, you can also just add a smile, which I think, you know, for the longest time was trying to do this in Photoshop and man, I could not get good results. But I mean, I'm gonna go a little drastic with it just to show you before and after, but there's after, there's before. I mean, that's that's pretty damn good for, <laughs> for just using it on a slider here and expression, I don't know, I've never really messed with that one very much. So a bit more expressive. Now here's the plump lips one. I usually don't do that one too much. Uh, as you also may have noticed, when it comes to uh, the nose, my preset automatically applies kind of a nose thing here, but that's what it looks like before and after. It just makes it a you know a bit more uh, 
uh, small, less less of a distraction. And then also you may have noticed that my uh, the slider for the neck is all the way up. And I always tell people to you know stand up nice and tall. Plus it also just kind of helps elongate the face a little bit more. So I like that. Now lens correct is pretty awesome if you've never used it before. A lot of times if you have to use like a, a wide angle lens for close up because maybe you don't have as much room uh, physically to, to work with in the space that you're shooting, you can use this to help kind of correct for distortion on the picture. And uh, now obviously we don't need it that much. And then also for the head forward slider, this is for if you have uh, people who tend to, you know, tuck the chin too much and then, you know, the jawline kind of disappears into the neck. So you can do this and that kind of helps bring the chin a little bit further away from the neck. So anyways, I think that looks really good. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it right there. Okay, I'm going to, eh, maybe I'll just move the eyes just a little bit more. Sorry, I'm a little picky. There we go. All right, so we just took the uh, the left slider and moved it away towards the left to kind of close the left the the eye on the left side of the screen. There we go. So watch this. See that one was the the natural size, but we're gonna do this. There we go. All right. And there you have it, folks. Well, I'm going to leave it at that before I nitpick it apart. Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know by uh, adding a like. If you have any questions about the software or anything, you know, about um, new features in the software or anything, you know, that you saw in the video today, whoops, sorry. <laughs> Leave it in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer. Uh, anything else that you guys have, uh, maybe want to see, again, just put it down in the comments and I'd be happy to answer it for you. Uh, in the meantime, make sure to subscribe so you can see upcoming videos and I'll also keep you guys updated as the new studio comes along. Hopefully it'll be done in a week or two. I don't know, maybe we'll see. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much. mouth and nose. I'm going to zoom into the face and just kind of keep an eye on the teeth again just to make sure everything's looking good. Sorry, I have to have a little bit of fun with it. Let's see. And also, uh, for Cedric here, uh, we are going to go down to uh, the saturation. We're going to make that zero. There we go. And, uh, the contrast, if uh, the softening has a little too much effect on uh, removing the, the area between like the skin.